Welcome guys, you join me roughly 12 hours into an epic ride around England trying to find Australian city names. Let's see how I get on. Now we're off to Leicester and we're going to be going down two A roads, hopefully they're not too busy with trucks. So it was now about like 4am, faintest bit of sun coming up. I was getting a bit chilly, I was looking forward to sunrise. I was searching on Google Maps, I found that there was an Asda on the route to Cairns Close, so it couldn't have been more perfect. I was daydreaming about Coca-Cola, about chocolate milk. It was nice to see the sunrise, and we are almost done with, with finding all the, all the road names. Oh, it's time for some snacks. It's time for some snacks. Oh yeah. I know there's awesome cream cheese stuff in here. Hopefully I can find it for my bike gets stolen, but it's only 5 a.m. So I don't think there's anyone around to steal it. What is going on guys? Just went for a shop. I got some uh, some water obviously. Need to refill my water supplies. Some of the magic coke. I haven't uh, actually had any caffeine this trip yet. Kind of a bit late for it now, the sun's coming up, but whatever. I got some chalky milk. Almost didn't get it, but I thought. How much light my spirits? What is this? Dirty, dirty, dirty. And I got this thing that I found um, on my little bike bike trip I did recently. It has to do with this vegan cream cheese. Probably not gonna be able to eat all of it in one go because last time I did, I felt like falling asleep. I really should have listened to myself then, and you'll find out why very soon. And I got a. I wanted the baguette, but I got a uh, little finger thingy. Took me out my, uh, my cruiser. Here we go, let's do it. This is actually a pretty historic Asda. You guys might not know it, but on my first ever 24 hour time trial attempt, and also successful attempt, but on my first ever 24 hour ride, I stopped at this Asda <laughs> with Jack. We ate food just out there, and then we got going. I think we were like a third of the way into our ride, maybe 100 miles. We ended up doing 275 miles on our first ever 24 hour. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this food and then, uh, Let's go to Cairns. There's nothing quite like sitting back on your stroller, watching the sunrise, knowing that you've got a almost 200 kilometer ride back to where you started. I was raring to go. I was just absolutely raring to go. Not the nicest of days. It was just a little bit of light rain just then, so not the best. But we're in Cairns clothes with the fixie but something sad just happened i just broke my mirror off because i was going up i was being a bit cheeky i went up like the disabled access stairs i had this little fence and just hit the fence just a bit of plastic broken should be able to fix it at home with some super glue but i haven't got it with me luckily it's the daylight but i don't know man it's gonna be a stressful ride home it's so i got so used to just having knowing what's coming up behind me Without that, oh god, not looking forward to it. <sighs> Feeling sleepy, man. We need some sun, we need some some rays, man. They've been spraying today. Let's get rolling. There's only another 16 or 17 Ks to Darwin close. The closes are coming in at the end. The closing, it's the closing of the ride. So it was really quick getting out of Leicester. I was onto these little lovely country lanes almost instantly. But things are about to take a turn for the worst. Guys, just on the way to the Cairns close. It's not even a long ride from that last video. This is my low point, I think. I never usually film at low points because when you're on your low point, you don't feel like filming. It's just a combination of being tired. The ground's wet now, so it's a bit more dangerous. My mirror breaking, so I'm a bit more anxious about cars coming past. Yeah, and I guess it's the morning rush hour as well, so it's, I mean, we're not in London, but I guess people, more traffic than usual, so hopefully that'll die down. Yeah, I'm contemplating, when the sun's up a bit more, just find some grass, having a little power nap. Ugh, over halfway, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm not sure the exact distance this ride's gonna be, but here's hoping. Here's the hoping. Whew. I think all that food as well is just like, Put me a uh, slow me over. See? See how tired I am? Anyway, 
Let's keep rolling, let's keep rolling. Guys, guys, guys. I'm feeling so much better. Just kidding, I'm not actually. It's one of those ones when um, you feel like you can barely turn the pedals over and you just, you're still going and then someone comes flying past you, some commuter on an electric bike and you just think, fuck this. Anyway. I think I'm on the right way of route. I'm trying to just stay away from the main roads, man. It's stressing me out. Stressing me out. Morning. Dog. <laughs> hey, doggy. As if like magic coming out of that little, that little pedestrian cycle track thingy, magic. We are here. Darwin clothes in all its glory. Look at that, just like Darwin. It's about the same size as Darwin. Not a very big place if you've ever been. I drank a liter of Coke, a liter of chocolate milk, 200 grams of fake cheese, which was like 25% oil, coconut oil, and then like pretty much a loaf of bread. So, probably went a bit overkill on the food there, but um, yeah. Some other cyclists coming the other way, saying good morning. The sun's out a little bit, a little bit of sunlight. Feeling a little bit better. This is where it gets sketchy, because I was going to smash it down the A5, which is a pretty, pretty hectic road. Um, but my mirror's broken. So, with my mirror broken, I feel less inclined to be in the TT bars, because it's more unstable and it's harder to check my shoulder. Um, so that sucks. So I might just be riding like, like wide bars the whole way home. Let's get the fixie in the shot because that's just so cool and unique. Um, yeah. <sighs> During the night time I was like, all right, the next place, the next place. And now I'm in Darwin Clothes, it's pretty much, I'm going straight home now. Well, back to, back to Perth Road or Perth Street, whatever it was. So there's no excitement left really, it's just uh, a long, long, long return leg. I think it's like 100 kilometers or so, maybe more. Just probably check. Um, stressy, stressy. Might just lie down, have a little. Oh, oh, hey, sorry. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, to be honest, another thing which might be making me feel a bit crap on the bike is uh, this this track's like I'm uh, I'm flaunting right now. It's a uh, ooh, yuck. It's a bit, it's, it's slackened off during the ride. I mean, all the bumps you go over. Slowly slackens your chain to get, oh, dear me. Yep. Oh, that'll do nicely. So I got myself to the A5 after taking a wrong turn and adding like five kilometers to the ride, which at this point was pretty mentally draining. This should have been a good ride, but because of the fact my mirror was broken and there was a lot of trucks on this route, really started making me feel sketched out. I came across this wonderful segregated bike lane for like five kilometers, which was just amazing. But that soon came to an end and I had to race myself down the single carriageway to get to a junction. Pretty stressful. I didn't really feel much on this bit because I was just, yeah, so stressed. I was battling these headwinds as well. So it was all, it was all getting thrown at me for the last 150 Ks. But we're just trucking away. Found they somewhere to get some more Coca Cola. Hopefully this time it had an effect and it boosted my spirits and my energy levels. But then that's when the rain and the wind kicked in. It's raining. Got about 100k to go. I'm actually starting to feel great. I'm starting to feel like you know this. You know you start to realize, after low point you start to realize that's the reason I fell low. So I can feel great after. Oh. Got myself off the A road to take a shortcut through some nice little towns. I used to actually ride back from university to home on my fixie, my first ever fixie. As you can see, the wind was pretty brutal and uh, not necessarily a tailwind. It, it looks like it wasn't necessarily a tailwind. And I ended up getting onto these nice little bike trails. 
I was going to ride on that big road up there, but uh, found a little bike route. Uh, Pink follows it. Oh, fuck. If it doesn't follow it, then I just made a big mistake. Oh! I'm riding for 24 hours. Sometimes you get through there one-handed. Oh, man. I might have to go back now. Oopsie. I thought, you know, it looked promising, but not anymore. Well, it worked out. We got stung by a stinging nettle, though. Back inside the M25, we're technically back in London. Um, over 400k done, over 24 hours done now. And uh, I'm being super weird. And instead of, I mean, I was literally one junction away from relinking up with my route in St. Albans. But I thought, you know, it would be wrong for the loop to be uh, loopified, not at the um, start finish point. So I'm having to navigate through North London in a way where I don't really know just so I can get it to not link up until Perth Road <sighs> so I'm adding extra miles, I'm adding extra navigation but uh, I think it's worth it and we're back into London got a nice view of West London Wembley Stadium arch you can see there the wind was still killer but because I was with all the buildings it wasn't too bad, although the hills were kicking into overdrive now. So guys, a little update. Um, we're back. I literally got here. Got some random dude to take a picture of me lying, pretending to be dead. And then I started riding off. I tell you, I didn't get any video of me for the for the for the YouTube. But yeah, it's um, it's time to go. It's time to go home. So, I sluggishly got back home. I was getting overtaken by commuters. They didn't know what I'd just been through for the last 24, 25, 26 hours. Felt like a long way home from Perth Road, but we got there eventually. Real fun little trip around England, around the Midlands. Saw some towns I hadn't seen before. The ride back down the A5 sucked, but it is what it is. I could probably have planned a better route, but I'm just like that. About 440 kilometers in about 27 hours elapsed. Not the fastest of, of rides, but I was stopping to take photos, take videos. I was making directions up on the fly, so it's a, uh, it's understandable. It's less than 48 hours after this ride. I set off to ride to Paris, on the fixed gear as well, which I got there in about just over a day, and uh, there'll be videos of that up soon. Thanks for watching guys, let me know what you thought of the videos, give it a like, give it a subscribe, give it some comments, if I get more than 5 comments I'll make another video, <laughs> sometime this year. Alright guys, peace, peace, peace.